Hey you guys, Bob here at North Shore Wildlife. We're in Haverhill, Massachusetts, and this customer uh, needs a ground exclusion. They have animals living underneath their three season porch right in the front of the home. And you can see clearly the den entry points. There's probably four, maybe five of them. So what we're doing today is we're going to dig a hole, a trench around the outside or the perimeter of her three season porch and her deck actually in the back. And we're gonna down about a foot and then we're gonna attach steel mesh right at the bottom, screw it right in, and then we're gonna run it right into the ground and build a shelf so it's like an L shape. So we go down and out, and then we fill the trench back in and we pack it down really tight. We're gonna install a one-way door, and what that does is it lets anything that's under there leave, just not return back inside. And then what we'll do is we'll probably come back in like a month or so, and we'll remove the one-way door, and then we'll reseal that hole uh, where the door was. And that's how you do a ground exclusion. Come on, I'll show you how it works. So this, grab the end of it. So you should be able to screw into that, no problem. So we are getting ready to start digging the trench around this customer's home. Uh, we have to go down about a foot or so right around the perimeter of her three season porch. And that's how we're going to attach. That's what's going to allow us to attach the steel mesh and put it into the ground. People are very proud of their lawns. So we lay down tarps. So when we're digging up that trench that we were talking about, all that dirt goes onto a tarp. And that does two things. It keeps your lawn clean and it's easier for us to put all the dirt back into the trench to pack it back down. So this is what we're using today for the ground exclusion. This is half inch hardware cloth. Uh, most folks know it as steel mesh or even sometimes call it chicken wire, but it's actually not chicken wire. It's hardware cloth and again, it's half inch. So if you're trying to do an exclusion at home on a deck shed or porch, the question typically is, is can you trap them and get them out of here? And yeah, we can do that for you, but normally trapping is just a band-aid because even if we trap whatever's underneath your shed deck or porch, something else is going to come right behind it and make a home. So the best option is to do a ground exclusion. What we do is we pack the dirt down nice and tight and it just makes it more difficult for the animal to dig and it keeps everything uh, tucked underneath, keeps that hardware cloth, that steel mesh nice and tight against the ground and up against the side of the house. So as a courtesy for most of my customers, we'll do a mini mouse exclusion and that means we just go around and fill in all the cracks and gaps that oftentimes a uh, field stone foundation can bring. And uh, we use this stuff called Pearl Black. This stuff is awesome. So in New England, I think they stopped making them right around the 40s. Um, but any home that's older than 1940 uh, has, a, most of them anyway, have a field stone foundation. And these things crack and move and shift after a cold winter and a hot summer. It's just no getting around it, it's what happens. So we come in and we fill in those gaps and this just keeps the mice from finding their way back inside. Hey guys, we just finished our ground exclusion here today in Haverhill. We dug the trench around the front of the home and around the deck in the back and installed that steel mesh and ran it into the ground and built an underground fence. Put the dirt back in, packed it down nice and tight, installed a one-way door just in case there was an animal under there while we were doing the work. We want to be able to uh, allow that animal to leave and not return back underneath this woman's home. And we'll come back in a month to move the one-way door and seal that back up nice for her. But, uh, the guys did a great job here today. I feel really good about this one. Uh, she has a three-year warranty, so if anything does happen, uh, she can give us a call and we can come back and, and button things up. But if you like what you saw here today and it interests you, please hit the subscribe button, hit, give us a thumbs up. We love those, and we'll see you next time. Bob, North Shore Wildlife.